Okay, so I think I'm going to try this teleprompter app. Today I'm working on the vlog, and then after that I need to work on the script and recording for the Etsy ads video. And I think this is going to work. I think this is going to do what I need. I mean, I'm obviously a phone vlogger, not, not by choice. <laughs> But I'm working with what I've got, so yeah, these are, I think this is going to work, hopefully. Are you recharging? Are you recharging? You were just looking so cute. Stop, stop working at your sister. Stop. Whoa. Hi. Guys, I don't, uh, I don't think Pepper's got enough bones. The vlog is done. So now I'm working on the thumbnail. And I know that the thumbnail is supposed to be like the most important part of the process. And I get it, thumbnails have a lot of power. You know, I, I too judge a video by its thumbnail sometimes. Sometimes I don't. It, it, I like a lot of nonfiction stuff, so I suppose those it's more about the subject matter problem and I've seen so many videos giving advice that the thumbnail should be the first thing you do. However, I feel like that's if you have a planned video, you know? When you're doing a, a vlog, such as, such as moi, you can't really do that because you're not, I mean, at least I'm not planning my life. I suppose there's probably some vloggers out there who might go the reality TV route and they decide to plan stuff, but for me, that's, that's really not the case. If it is, Lord help me if this is the kind of content I, I, I make. <laughs> anyway, I always try not to have anything on the thumbnail that's not in the vlog. And so what I do is I just watch my vlog and I print screen and I try to add elements that are in the video. No false advertising, just like, hey. Here's what's in here. Ooh, there's... Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. No! If I take stills from the vlog, then there's just no way it can be misleading. Like, these, these are frames from my vlog, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But I feel like I've done pretty well. I feel like I have managed to, to keep it up, so. Okay, I have finished the script for my Etsy ads video. And yeah, actually I write stuff like this in Notepad. I don't know why. Notepad is just simple and I don't know. Anyway, so I was originally going to use this teleprompter app, but when I installed it on my phone, it was the kind that you pay for. You could do a free trial, but the free trial is only, I think for two days. And I just didn't want to mess with that. So I had actually picked out this other teleprompter just in case the first one didn't work out. And this one has ads. There's a paid version, but I think the paid version is you just don't have ads. So we're going to give this one a try and I'm going to take a little bit of a break, sort of rejuvenate myself. And then I'm just going to go ahead and film the video. <laughs> wow, I look amazing. What is it with this camera not facing me head on? Like, my dude. Okay, Lilu, this is not the time. My god, you're so cute. I love you so much. Ooh. Oh. Should I do it like. Is this like super. <laughs> it is super obvious. How do I do this with the app? Oh, I. Okay. Wow, this is, this is a great look. Well, I can, okay. Okay, so I, I am not made for scripted um, videos. I've realized. I, okay, 
so before I start get <laughs> before I get into that, I ended up having to use the teleprompter app that required a trial. And the other one was free with ads and it was just ads and they were honestly not that bad, but it was just a teleprompter. It was, I think it was made to where you could use your phone as a teleprompter while filming on a different device, like a different camera or whatnot. Whereas the one that you have to pay for works with your phone on your phone so you can film on your phone, read the script, look directly at the camera. And it was actually pretty cool, if I'm being honest. I think if I did lots of scripted videos, it would be worth the money. I don't plan on doing a lot of scripted videos, and I think there's a good reason for that. I tried to read out my script, you know, on camera, and it was okay, but I'm sure you've noticed I need jump cuts. I talk stilted, and I have to edit those those out. I'm, it's not a stutter, but it's definitely a stilt. Like, I'm embracing my inner... I don't want to say Christopher Walken, but mm, what's his name from Star Trek? Oh my god, I know his name. William Shatner, right? And I also am asthmatic, so sometimes I just, even if I'm just talking, I just have to, I have to, I have to sigh and I have to take a breath. And that just does not work for scripted video. Like, I think... I seemed natural enough. I'm familiar with acting. I have been, you know, I have theater training and I'm familiar with scripts, but, but it was challenging. Um, I have to be honest, I haven't done any acting since I've had asthma. It's been a very long time. I'll just put it that way. So it, I, I went ahead and went through with it. I filmed it. I used the app. The app was honestly great. I can leave a link, you know, if you're interested in it, if you want to do scripted videos, but scripted videos are not for me. And that's fine. So, or at least not for me on camera. So I have basically decided that I'm just going to do a voiceover. I do a lot better. I can edit it. Jump cuts aren't as obvious. And I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. Like it's one thing to do a bunch of jump cuts for my vlog. This is my personal vlog. You know, this isn't a video that's talking about something professional, so I'm not as worried about the jump cuts, but in an effort to be as professional as possible, I've basically decided I'm just going to do a voiceover and use graphics. So I think that's where, where we're at. The voice, you know, the quality, audio quality will be a lot better that way because I have my little sound booth and I have a mic and, you know, I, I think that's what I'm going to do. It's kind of disappointing. I was a little excited to do a sort of, you know, on script, on camera situation, but after looking at it, it's just really, really not for me. Yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, I will hopefully get this video done within the week. The graphics are, they were something I was planning on implementing anyway, and then having me like in a corner talking, you know. I, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing just without me in the corner talking. The hardest part is probably going to be like the intro and outro where normally you would just have a person singing talking. So maybe what I could do is like try to memorize my lines and just do it that way for the intro and outro. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. Honestly, I think that's what I'll do. I'll do it right now. Why not? Like the lights pretty good I think. Let's make sure that let's make sure the camera's good and clean. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's what I'll do right now. I mean the intro and outro don't have to be super long. And I have my little mic set that needed to charge. So maybe this is just what I'll do. I don't know. Anyway, so maybe you'll see me like this. I'm starting to think that that's probably the best idea. <laughs> if I can just, if I can just memorize a few lines, which I'm talking about myself and my shop, so I'll write down key points on an index card and just like stick them on the tripod. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, sorry. I'm excited. Let's go. I'm pretty sure I've shown this to you guys before, but this is my little recording booth setup. 
and I don't remember the video I watched that like basically told you how to do this, but it's it's basically just like a, one of those storage totes and the cheapest mattress pad at Walmart that money can buy and some glue. And I don't remember what the glue was, but it was like hardcore glue. And it has really worked for me. And, and what I do is I, I sort of stick my head in here and then I take this extra strip of foam that was left over and I actually sort of like put it over <laughs> over my head and it <laughs> I look I'm sure I look really weird and if someone else was here to take a picture then then I would you know <laughs> I would love to post that but um I think it works really well and this microphone is a CAD U37 I bought it um I want to say in like 2016 or something and paid about $30 for it and I it's a great mic honestly and I feel like I got my money's worth so I mean when I post this Etsy video you'll you'll hear the quality but yeah this is how I do it on on a budget and then I just fold up this extra foam and I put it back in my closet and I just tuck it away Pepperoni's been through a lot the last couple of days. Yeah, yeah. We're still looking for a forever home. Yeah. She, um, somehow, I, I don't know how it must have happened when she was in the yard. She hurt her foot. She stepped on something weird and her nail got broken. And I took her in for that, but then also... Hi, Peter. But then also, you know, I discussed with the vet, we think she's done growing. So the vet said, well, we're going to have to sedate her to take care of that nail. Do you want to go ahead and get her spayed? So we went out and got her spayed. She's just sleeping off the drugs. Her bandage can come off. <laughs> Poor baby bandage can come off tonight. I'm hoping that getting her spayed and microchipped will help her find a forever home. And uh, I am going to give her a couple of weeks to recover though before I repost her. Alright, today's been a pretty low energy day. This is one of those days where I'm struggling with whatever is going on with me and my health. And so I've been kind of taking it easy. I've been looking after Pepper. Uh, I brought her home from getting spayed. And uh, anyway, so this is what I'm working on. I am working on animating a little intro for my... YouTube videos that have to do specifically about my shop, kind of like the Etsy ads video or I guess anything else. It just feels like something I can work on that doesn't take a lot of effort or concentration. I know animating takes a lot, but this is a super simple, like, you know, five frame, six frame animation. So I have experience animating um, sprites and I'm just applying the concept to this and hopefully it works and it looks good. And if it does, I'll, I'll be sure to include it in the vlog edit for this week. I've had a really challenging week. I didn't vlog very much. Sometimes on Sundays it just really hits me that I haven't vlogged very much. So let's just end it on a nice note with this thunderstorm and the makeshift river in front of my house.
I know, honey. Dog would stay here for a second. She's too nervous to eat without us. 